Today I'm going to show you how to use an incredibly easy and free program called Loom to record your screen. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Chrome Web Store and add the extension. So type in Loom, L-O-O-M, and this is what the current icon looks like. So go ahead, click on that and add the extension. So once you are ready to start recording, you'll notice the Loom icon. Go ahead and click on that. The first time it'll ask you to sign in and you can have the option to sign in using your Gmail account. So I would choose that. And then you have the option of recording your face or you can click that out. If you click this X, it'll cancel your recording, so be careful. You can pause your recording. I like this to be hidden, and then when I want to go ahead and um, stop the recording, you can just click back up on the icon and it will stop your recording from there. So I can either do the full desktop or the current tab. I'm gonna go ahead and choose full desktop. If you notice that your mic isn't recording or something is wrong, you can go ahead and play with the, the options in here under this tab but I'm gonna go ahead and start recording. And then it's going to give me the choice of what I want it to record, and I'm gonna click on this and click share. It gives me the countdown before I start my recording. And then you do your demonstration and record whatever it is you need. Again, you can click this to hide that menu. And then once I'm done with my recording, I go back up here and I can click on the logo. After you click on that icon, this is a page that will open up that has your video. So currently it is being processed and to download it, you can click on the three dots and then go down to download. If this is grayed out, you have to be patient and wait for it to, to finish processing. Once it turns black, you are free to download it in a really high quality. And then once download is complete, you can say show in folder so you know where it's downloaded. And then you can use it from here to insert it into a video editing software if you need to, or just use the video the way it is. 